Hi, I'm George, TSG's Active Wizard Product Manager. In this short demo, I'm going to overview the upcoming HTML5 version of the Active Form module, which allows users to fill out electronic forms. Now, for our next generation Active Form, we're concentrating on a couple of main areas. Uh, the first is we don't want any reliance on Flash or other third-party browser plugins. Um, and the second is that we want to support all devices, everything from desktops to tablets and mobile phones. So here's a preview of our newest Active Form module, and I have an equipment request form loaded in here. And so I can come in and select uh, from the list here, or either start typing uh, the engineering requesting group, and maybe select a manager here. And um, as I select the equipment type, you'll notice a, f a couple of things happen. I'm just going to say the equipment type we want is a mobile device. So it immediately checks this page is complete because that's the last question on the page. And it immediately added the mobile device request page uh, because this is a, a leading answer that leads down the path to this new page here in the form. Um, one other thing to notice here is if I took out this group, since this is a required question, um, it immediately marks the page as, as uh, not valid and gives me a message here that I have to answer this question. So go back here and then it's now selected and I can continue on to the next page. Uh, now this is something else that's new for the active uh, form module, the HTML5 version. Uh, we no longer have the concept of repeating pages. Uh, in this version we essentially have a repeating table. So I can come in here and say we want a new device and maybe the owner is TSG and the type is going to be an Apple uh, iPad 4. Uh, and to add a new uh, device, we simply say I want to add a new row, and I can add a new uh, value here. Six, and I can do the same thing for another new device. And the nice thing about this is I can delete a row right in the middle here, so I can just go ahead and delete, and now I can uh, continue on. So going to the summary page, again, gives me my overview of all of my questions and answers. The table view page uh, displays in its table view here. Um, and as far as mobile support goes, what I wanted to do is if I jump back to this request information page here, if I make my browser smaller to simulate, say, a, a phone or a tablet type screen, we're going to notice that it flexes around the uh, size of the device. So on a phone, the navigation bar jumps to the top with a drop-down menu to jump to the different pages, and the questions become stacked rather than uh, more horizontal. The same thing actually happens on our mobile device request page with the table. Instead of the table view, which could look really um, really scrunched up on a mobile device, we display each row in sort of its own section here. So if I wanted to go in and add that uh, the iPhone back in, I could go here iPhone 6 and now I can continue on and again, on the summary page, we do something similar here rather than displaying the table in more of the, the wide view. Well, that's it for this short demo. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have more questions, please check out our website at tsgrp.com.